The most welcome. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed and I'm, 80, I'm 10 years old. I'm from Westminster School. And my question is, why has Allah challenged Shaitan and given him this chance to misguide us when Allah knew the nature of his creation as a human being? That we would be carried away, then why didn't he just finish Shaitan at that time? The young lad has asked a good question that why did Allah challenge shaitan and give him a chance to entice the human being? Why doesn't he just finish him and completely? <laughs> My dear son, it is not Allah who challenged the shaitan, it is the shaitan who challenged Allah. It is the opposite. Iblis was one of the best jinns. He was very pious. But arrogance took the better of him. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked him, to bow down to Adam. He said, why should I bow down to a person who was created from mud when I was created from light? From fire, sorry. The jinns were created from fire. So he was arrogant. He was very obedient initially. He was very pious. He was one of the best among the jinns that he was kept among the angels. But when Allah asked him to bow down to, to Adam, he did not bow down because he was arrogant. And then he asked for his spite. And Allah wanted to punish him. He said that give me respite. Respite means delay the punishment. And I will take your people away from you. So Allah says, I give you respite. He challenges Allah that delay my punishment. And if you delay my punishment, I will misguide your people. So then Allah tells him, I give you, I delay your punishment. I give you respite till the day of judgment. And you will never be able to entice or misguide those moments, those Muslims who are true on my part. But those who are not true Muslims, who are not obedient to me, you'll misguide them. So when Allah has given him the chance till the day of judgment, Allah has delayed his punishment. So how can he finish him now? Once Allah gives his word, he cannot go back on his word. Correct? Allah is truthful. So it is the shaitan, Iblis, who challenged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give me respite. Delay my punishment and I will misguide your followers. So Allah gave him time. Okay, I will not finish you. I will give you a punishment after the day of judgment. And you will never be able to misguide those believers, those human beings who are my followers. Those who are not my followers, you'll be able to misguide. So this is a test for us for the hereafter. And for the human beings, we come in this world as a test for the hereafter. Those who believe the Quran and the Say Hadith, we will be successful in the test and go to Jannah. Those who don't follow Quran and Sunnah, we will not be successful and we won't go to Jannah. Where Allah orders to fight against non-Muslims until they believe. He asks, is it not arrogance?